Welcome, it's your friendly neighborhood Badger here and I am back with another video in my Road to Headhunter Revisited small little series. Um, now this is not a full Headhunter grind as you may have seen my last video yesterday. If you didn't, there is a link down below. You can definitely go check that out. I'll also put a card uh, up above somewhere over there, all the way up there. Uh, you can definitely just click on and have a check because the first uh, 100 maps that I have done for this challenge was with a Magic Find budget version of this Spark build, uh, which is pretty fun. But the second 100 maps, we're switching things up. We have a uh, self-curse headhunter temp chains. Much more expensive, hopefully a lot faster. For the last uh, edition, the last 100 maps, we were just 20 qualitying our tower T5 tower maps and just running them straight like that. Uh, without anything, but for the headhunter we do need to juice the maps up a little bit uh, and obviously it's a much more a large investment into everything but it does mean that hopefully we're going to be getting a lot more returns. So we're doing a tower map qualityed up uh, T5 alchemy orbed. Uh, we are then doing a rusted harbinger scarab and rusted divination scarab. Relatively cheap scarab so it's middle of the road so we're not doing legions or anything like that because uh, thank you very much cute dog you have just skyrocketed the prices of a legion uh, uh, scarabs, so that's pretty pretty great. Uh, but uh, we're also going to be running beyond on the map device. So I'm basically going to cut right here. I'm going to run all these maps, and then uh, in a moment you're going to see Future Badger with uh, everything priced uh, and uh, basically comparing it to yesterday to see what is better, basically. What is faster, what is better, what is stronger uh, at this small level of investment. So awesome. I'll catch you guys soon. See ya. Oof, and there you have it. We are done with the 100 tower maps with the second version of this test, which was the Headhunter Self-Cursed Temp Chains. I'm not going to demonstrate this build. You've probably seen builds like this before. Basically, kill monsters, get big character, go fast, boom, boom. Uh, is basically the uh, general gist of everything. But on your left-hand side here, you can see uh, all of the gear that I have dropped. Now, this did equate to a total of, let's bring up a spreadsheet here, because uh, basically this equated to a total of, uh, uh, where was it, where was it? It was a total of 2,654 uh, revenue, which uh, is a little bit more than what we got yesterday, if you've checked out the video yesterday. However, I have also put every bit of data into this spreadsheet here, and you can actually start to see some really interesting things. First of all, we did also take about 15 minutes uh, shorter time. Actually, no, what's th that's not 15 minutes. That's closer to 25 minutes shorter time, uh, 26, 27 minutes on the Headhunter self curse temp chains. Uh, so around about 16 seconds less time per map. Uh, the cost was a lot more because we did juice these maps, as I said, with medium uh, medium type of juicing with uh, Divination Scarabs, Harbinger Scarabs, and beyond, as well as the standard quality and uh, alchemy. Uh, but we did make more money. We made about 400 chaos more, just under 400 chaos more. And so our revenue per hour was a lot greater, which is pretty interesting. Thank you very much for the sub, God Bartok. Uh, the profit, however, uh, which is basically our, uh, our revenue minus our cost, was a lot less on the Headhunter version. Now, the reason that we buff up the uh, Headhunter versions uh, uh, of the maps with the Divination Cards, uh, Scarabs and the Harbinger Scarabs and Beyond and everything like that, first of all, Beyond is pretty much needed for a uh, Headhunter build to really get the build working very quickly. If I did not have Beyond, it would take a lot longer for me to do those maps and a lot less drops in the maps as well. As you can see down in the notable drops, we'll talk about that soon. And then the profit per hour in the end is uh, quite a little bit less, around, around uh, 180 chaos per hour less than the Magic Find version. So for a build that costs around about five exalts, uh, compared to a build that costs around about 150 exalts, if you're just wanting to do very small farming, a uh, very uh, effective farming with not much investment into what you're actually doing, the maps and everything like that, Magic Find is very, very much worth it. Way more worth it than juicing your maps up and getting that headhunter on and having fun. That being said, uh, this was only T5 maps, tier five. That does mean that uh, uh, very low tiers are not great for headhunters anyway. Your tier 16 maps fully juiced up are gonna be insane uh, with your headhunter, which fully magic find uh, stuff cannot uh, uh, fix that. Um, 
uh, cannot really do those maps. Uh, you kind of need Headhunter to be able to do those fully juiced uh, Delirium maps. We can see down here both of the uh, sessions, both of the 100 maps got two nurse drops, uh, three exalt drops on the MF version, and five on the Headhunter self curse. So, more on the Headhunter self curse, which is pretty interesting. There were a lot more mobs. Uh, however, switch it around, we got more uh, divines on the MF version and uh, less on the uh, self curse. But you can see here around about one, um, yeah, around about one third more simulacrum splinters on their Headhunter self curse temp chains because there's just a lot more mobs to clear. And we're getting to the end of that uh, simulacrum, um, or sorry, that delirium uh, very, very easily. Uh, 20 more Wretched cards than uh, the MF version on the Headhunter Self-Curse version, which is really interesting. Stick around to the end of the video because we're actually going to open all of the Wretched cards that we got. Uh, and basically the same amount of alteration, which is really interesting. What I would say is if you're looking to get into speed farming and everything like that, definitely go Magic Find to begin with because it is so cheap this league and so many people are going Purposeful Harbinger stacking and everything like that, which is pretty expensive. Uh, so keep that in mind. That's pretty much all I do have to say. Thank you very much for listening. It was a little bit of a rant this time in terms of uh, rambling on. Um, but I am just going to put down below, I'll put the link to this little very small uh, bit of data here. Um, I'm not going to put a link to the, the paste bin of the build that I use to run these maps because it is a very uh, generic kind of self-cursed temp chains uh, character. And it's mostly following the same tree as you would have seen in yesterday's video. Uh, but to finish everything off, I did promise you guys that I was going to be opening these wretched cards. So let's do this. Wretched. Let's grab all of them out. So first of all, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like that. And then in the MF version, we should have a uh, one, two, three. And then we've got a few cards here, and we've got one more card here, which does make six. So we've got 13 sessions. Let's go. Let's figure this out. Boom. First one. Second one. Oh yeah, all double baited breath in a row. Oh, we did get a soul tether, which is kind of nice. All right, let's pop this right out here. Let's look for that. Look for that cheeky headhunter, shall we? We've got three more left, and two more left, and one more left, and just a worm's mold there. So you know, in 13, you're probably not going to be getting a headhunter from your wretcheds, but we uh, wanted to see if we could squeeze one out. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and until next time, Badger, out.